Well, good morning, everybody. We've got the new truck. Dogs loaded in the back. And uh, we're going to go on a little excursion today. We've got the puppies. We're going to go to a place called Liberty. Where there's a vintage, I guess you'd call it a uh, tool store. Just vintage tools. Um, so anyway, when we get there, I'll bring you back. Well, we're here at Liberty Tool, and masks are required. But anything you could want. This is in Liberty, Maine. And it just goes by Liberty Tool. And there is so much here, I don't even know where to start. Um, you know, profile planes. They run usually nine to eighteen dollars. And it goes, it's quite a building. So anyway. You want a square? Well, as you can see, we're back home. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I get an internal light on when you talk for a minute. So yeah, look at them lights. So anyway, we uh, I took some video there at that Liberty tool and uh, you know, it's pretty much all the same. It's just more and more and more tools. Um, so I didn't video the whole place. There's three floors there. And the second one has a little less tools and more books. And then the third one is a little of everything, furniture, whatever. I don't know how they get the stuff up there unless there's an elevator somewhere. Or maybe they just lug it up the stairs. But anyway, um, yeah, so the highlight of the day, I guess, was stopping in and seeing my good friend Mark on the way back. Um, I guess I've never really told a story on YouTube before, but back here about, uh, oh, be six, seven years ago, probably six years ago now. I might as well tell you, I guess, while we're sitting here. Um, and actually the stove's out enough. I can set you right on the stove. And so anyway, about, uh, six years ago, a good friend of mine named David he kept telling me he says my boy's got a big job he says he needs a diesel mechanic and of course I used to be a diesel mechanic and I kind of get out of it and anyway he couldn't find anybody helping and I says what the hell do you rebuild it he says a d399 cat 
didn't mean nothing to me. You know, I'm an old Detroit guy and Cummins guy, okay? So, cats, ah, no, didn't mean much. So, anyway, he explained to me it was a big V16 and uh, six and a quarter inch, I believe, was the bore on it. It's a big engine, about 1,100 horsepower. 1,000 horse or 1,100, I don't remember. But anyway, it don't matter. So he finally talked me into calling his son, and his son agreed to an hourly wage. Up I went. We started taking this thing apart, and they was humping all the, the heavy heads out over through the bulkheads with come-alongs, then dragging them down the gantry way, up through the portal on the back. And I says, you know, I says, we ought to run a cable on the snatch block. I says, we can run these things right out. Mac looked at me kind of funny. Well, first I told Dave. Dave says, you need to tell Mac. So I told Mac, and Mac looks it all over. And he says, geez, he says, I guess I'll send Dave after a length of cable. So they went after a length of cable, Dave did. Brought back snatch blocks and all that. And three days later, we had that whole D399 cat stripped to the bare block. Crank was out of it, everything. And it was all back at the shop to be processed. And this ended up being, for a crew of four, we worked on it steady and we zero timed everything. You know, we, I mean, the override shut down. It came apart. Some shads weren't available. We made new. I mean, we, we just, everything on that thing that was war at all, it got put back like new. So, ended up being a six month job. Supposed to be like a three month job. Ended up being a six month job. That, uh, I can't remember if we put in 16 Z certs or if it was like 12 or 14. I can't remember if every one of them was cracked or not. But I know we was experts at putting in Z certs by the time we was done. Um, Cat told everybody it takes, you know, almost a full day to put one in. We was knocking one in every two hours and they were put in right. I mean, he, he had boring by jig set up and tooling set up for each one, so he didn't have to change the tooling. And this Max smart guy, I mean, he's, he's, he got all the numbers and everything right in his head for all the cat parts. And just a brilliant fellow. One of the most brilliant mechanics I've ever known, him and his father both. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's, we stopped and saw Mac on the way home. And uh, that, that was a highlight of my day, I guess. Um, she lived about almost three hours from here, up in Warren. Polly's Diesel Service in uh, Smart Man. But anyway, yeah, that's gonna be all on this video, I guess. Um, kind of started out as a trip up the coast and ended up really being more of a visiting day than anything. And, uh, yeah, so we'll call it a day. Hope you enjoyed and uh, if you don't know what a D399 cat is, look one up. Um, you'll be impressed by them. They're a pretty big beast. Um, anyway, we'll talk to you next time.